have it in the CCC. If, if you ever go to a pickleball club, it's amazing the sort of demographic you see there. You see everyone, kids, at our own club in Delhi, I would say about 30-40% of the people are above the age of 40-45. There's ladies playing and you know, me and my son travel together for tournaments. We've been to Thailand, we've been to the pickleball slam in Miami, we've been to Bali, all over India. And it's a really unique sport in terms of it's accessible to everyone. You don't particularly need a whole lot of expensive infrastructure. You know, you can make a makeshift court to start with anywhere. All you need is a flat surface and a net. And uh, it's got a very easy learning curve. So to pick up pickleball, it's like that, literally. To start playing recreationally and to start having fun. I think in India, pickleball is the fastest growing sport at this point of time. We see uh, sprouts of number of courts which are developing. The number of paddles which are bought in India is at a high level, the balls. And the number of events happening in different cities in India is incredible. And everyone is talking about it um, in all age groups. Uh, now if you ask, ask about the celebrity angle, of course that will help popularize the sport because um, in India is a celebrity driven nation as well and we all look up to celebrities whether it's sportsmen, whether it's cricketers or it's uh, our Bollywood stars but uh, they will just attract them to start playing the sport once or twice but what really drives the sport is the value of the sport and the essence of the sport and the easiness of the sport to play. Now if you ask me about the juniors and youngsters, yes that is what we are here for, we are creating the full India tour and uh, the juniors and young players will start playing pickleball at a high number of, at a high level because uh, uh, we are creating an India tour. We are creating a career pathway of prize money and of events happening in India. Uh, pickleball is one of the most rapidly growing sports in the world right now. Till about five years ago, we virtually had like a, like a few courts in the whole country where you could actually count them on your fingertips. And within a, sp like a period of five years, we've already got like about 1,000 courts already within the country. My decent estimate is about 50,000 people who are playing pickleball. And this has only happened in the last two years. And this number is going to increase at least 10 times in the next two years or three years. Secondly, all over Asia, we've been going down and seeing tournaments the quality of players every three months is significantly improving. So we are having a lot of transition from badminton players, table tennis players, soft tennis players, tennis players who are finding an alternate route, an alternate career because pickleball is a, is a relatively very developed sport in the US. We've got more pickleball players in the US as compared to recreational tennis players now. So the number of people in Asia is also considerably increasing. But cricket is, is a team sport and it gets a lot more traction when, when it's a team sport, the whole nation is behind you, etc. But when you're playing like an individual sport, it's typically you're focusing on yourself or you're playing doubles again, you're focusing on yourself, etc. But over a period of time, I'm sure we'll be putting, we're going to be putting our leagues together, we'll be putting out uh, 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 more and more uh, programs together, we'll be encouraging a lot of team events as well. You know, we're looking to cover the entire ecosystem, so the ranking system, the Grand Slams and the Tour and League. So, we, we, we'll have all bases covered and the way, the, the way Pickleball works currently, there's all tournaments have an individual event where you're playing for yourself or with your doubles partner and there's also a team event where there's a team of six, eight, ten people competing against each other. So that is the plan for our World Series also. There's going to be an individual component and a, a team component. Yes, uh, we are going to be doing events like any other sport would do in uh, individual categories of under 10, under 12, under 14, under 16, under 18 because there is a lot of difference within two, age, within two years of age gap between kids and that is how uh, the children will then become professional pickleball players when they have a, have a pathway 
to play the junior events and uh, we would be similarly conducting from the grassroots level to the highest level. Now if you ask me what I mean from the grassroots level to the highest level, from the grassroots level we will be conducting the under 10 state, uh, the under 10 local state event where you can represent your state, whether I represent Delhi or Haryana or Chandigarh or whatever. And then I will start representing my, my, my region, whether it's North India or South India. From there I can represent India in the Asia Cup or a South East Asia Cup. Similarly, we'll go have an under, under 10 World Cup or under 12 World Cup, we'll get all nations. So that is the program and that is what we have to imbibe from the start. So the first World Cup of pickleball is happening in Peru this year, later this year, which is a purely uh, team-based event. And in terms of all pickleball tournaments, pickleball tournaments have all the age categories and within the age categories, they have different levels of ratings depending on what level the player is playing at. So it's truly an inclusive sport and it's a community sport. It's a sport for life. It's actually a sport for life. You can start at the age of three and you can play till the last day of your life. And I'm sure anybody who starts playing pickleball, would it's so addictive, you cannot even imagine. It's so fast paced. It's it's really amazing. It's just that once you get on the court, you don't want to leave it. There's such a rush and such a hype and uh, energy around this sport. It's unique. It's a very high skill based sport. It requires a lot of accuracy because you've got to control the plastic ball with, with the paddle. And the area is much less. You need to be so accurate with the ball. You need to be so sharp in hitting the ball that the skill levels are extremely high and the ball speed is much quicker than a tennis ball and the area is also much smaller so you need to be really 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 sharp totally you know at the highest level uh, pickleball is, is is very very skillful like somebody who has started playing for 10 minutes also playing recreationally but there's no recreational play but even that person who's played for 10 minutes becomes a competitive player within 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 half an hour of playing pickleball and that's the beauty of the sport